But it's hard to answer that question straightforwardly because it's, it's not clear what living up to that promise would look like. Right? White supremacy is an idea, and it's not clear to me what a uh, someone in the executive office will do to, to combat an idea itself. And I think I'm kind of skeptical of the idea of legislation being the answer. Uh, we have the civil post-Civil War amendments, 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment, we have the Ku Klux Klan Act, uh, Voting Rights Acts, uh, Civil Rights Acts, and we're still in the same position that we're in. Uh, so I think to the extent that Joe Biden could do, what Joe Biden could do as an executive, I think is going to be insufficient, right? Mm -hmm. Executive orders, acts, proclamations, I don't think is going to undermine the idea of white supremacy. I think the, the real concern is going to be people who embrace the idea of white supremacy wanting to give up on the idea themselves, or seeing it being in their interest to give up on white supremacy. Um, for a lot of people who are either explicitly or implicitly white supremacists, uh, it benefits them. It's rational for them to be white supremacists. It's quite rational for them to impose black voting rights. It's rational for them to oppose affirmative action. So it, it's going to be the case that those who benefit from white supremacy are going to have to change their hearts and minds for us to, to see a change. I don't think Joe Biden or the legislature or Congress in general is going to be able to do anything to undermine white supremacy. I think history has, has borne that out. Imani, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I'm going to cite yet another a survey that was done, which showed that a third of black voters say Biden is not sympathetic to their problems. Uh, we're, I'd, I'd be curious to know where that survey um, came from. Um, but in particular, I would say that, um, you know, looking at, you know, the first two plus years of the Biden administration, um, and we will hear tomorrow, of course, he's going to lay out and tout um, accomplishments. Um, hopefully he acknowledges the, the numerous areas um, of improvement and the places he could go, in particular um, around what I believe is legislation. I'd, I'd have to, to disagree a bit with my, my colleague in the fact that I, I am I am pushing for I want to see change in the form of legislation in form of elected officials who are going to actually speak for the communities uh, that are continuously and constantly um, brutalized by our policing system. And so I understand the will, quote unquote, of, of the people, which is where we had um, the horrible four years under Donald Trump. But when I'm looking and seeing how the, 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 the ability to be emboldened by white supremacy, um, it is an action. White supremacy is, is a series and systems of policies that play out very, very, very clearly in not only the founding of this nation, but the way in which our systems operate with its most historically marginalized and vulnerable populations. So I would think that, you know, whether it be the percentage of, of African Americans who are, who are feeling that, you know, the per current president is not is not utilizing his platform at the time to speak to their issues and concerns. I think it's our also point to hold him accountable as we continue to do, um, hold the vice president. Uh, we are at a point in that a stalemate right. um, in our government, and I think that's going to be where the challenges come in.